All I'm saying is this. I got a 20 year marriage. I got a daughter. I got employees that love me. I got loyalty amongst the people that really really rock with me. I have zero turnover. I have a phenomenal corporate corporate position. I got everything. I have everything. I get it. What I'm saying is that for you to say that women aren't valuable, or I'm sorry, men don't need women the way women need men. But one of your biggest talking points, one of the reasons why you say one of the reasons why you say that you are successful is because you did marriage the right way. You vetted and found the right woman. That woman complimented you. She helped you in your success. She, you, you built her up. The big part of your platform is sharing the fact that you are a married man. And then on the flip side, you're saying today that men don't need women. All I'm saying is where if you didn't have your marriage, to speak about and to and to perpetuate what else would you say you would be another podcaster single just saying things about experience things that you're not really experiencing you're a married man right you're a married man and you have a lot to say about single women and and single people and you can't sit here and say that women don't need men and men don't need women when a whole part of your brand is you being married to a woman and how that has perpetuated your success. You use that as a trope to say, I'm successful because I'm married. You do that, Anton. So you can't Actually, see- I know. Like that. and that, That's how I know you don't know. Oh, see, you only listen to what you hear on this particular show. No, I only listen to what, what you say. I don't know how you said that. It, it's not. And so again, if you really you know- You said that, you baby. Are, you said that. I don't even know how to be quiet for five minutes to, for, for somebody to respond. <laughs> Well, I'm just letting you know anything I'm saying that you said is because I heard you say it out your mouth. Mm, okay. Like I was saying, if you really understand who I am, then you would also understand that my whole foundation of who I am has nothing to do with a woman. And the thing that I tell guys is that it's a difference between being married and being successfully married. And as a matter of fact, I advocate for most guys not to get married because the options that they have and the thing of what it takes in order to be successfully married is dwindling based off of the options that they got from the women that we see. And so what I stand on is be it, being a man in your purpose, making sure that you be successful, make sure you're reading your Bible. See, you don't hear me say apparently, and I say it all the time, that I've read my Bible and I study daily. And the first thing that I do when I get up is I pray. You don't hear about that part. You don't hear about the fact that you know we do all of the things that we do inside of the community. You don't see the fact that I actually fly out to people in order to meet them and make sure that I add value inside of their life. Why don't we hear about that? Why are you still talking? And talking? Why That's are you hard. still interrupting people? I'm so sorry. Go ahead. And so, again, I stand on spirituality. I stand on purpose. And then any woman that comes into your life, she's supposed to be a help me. I don't need marriage to be great. I was going to be great with it or without it. That's what I say. That's my message is that men need to be on a purpose and they need to stop chasing women. That's what I tell men. And then the woman that's supposed to be for you is going to line herself with you, not based off of how much you spend on her on a date. So all of this superficial shit, like I said, I was going to be great regardless. I was ordained to be great. I was predicted to be great before I was born. That's what my life purpose was going to be. I was already, the money is just a part of it. So I have a question, Anton, because something you said and something Jazz said too. If you weren't married, right? Because she, something she, I don't know if this was her point. There's a lot of podcasters and coaches that don't have that, that want to give you advice regarding relationships, but they're not married, right? So, do you think that if you weren't married, your advice would come across the same way to people? Because the context. I, the context would just be different because I think that there's some guys that's not married that's given phenomenal advice. One of the people that I love is Coach Greg Adams. He was married before, and he speaks about it from a completely different perspective than I. And I okay. think that you can add value into the conversation um, depending on your lens. It's just the context that you talk about it. You got to verify it by that. He qualifies himself saying, this is what my experience is. Mm-hmm. This is what you guys do as a result of it. This is what I learned. And in my experience, completely different from his, but we have similar talking points because his lens and the way he translated it may be different from my lens, the way I translate it, but it all intersects in the same way in which we add value in a guy's life and basically waking him up to the reality 
If you choose to go down this path, this is what you're going to deal with. If you choose to go down this path, this is what you're going to deal with. And so yeah. you don't have to necessarily be married to have great advice. You just have to qualify yourself as to why you're saying what you're saying. True, but I remember you saying something regarding um, that you have a successful marriage and there's people that talk about marriage has never been in a successful marriage. I don't know, Greg Adams, he's been married, so he can talk about marriage, but other people that have not been married, they can't give us the insight like you can. So if you weren't married, I don't think you could, I don't think people would listen to you as much no, I want to say that there wouldn't be a high percentage as you do now will listen to you because you don't have the proof of the successful marriage because you have all these people saying they're rich, but they're not really showing any receipts like you, right? A lot of people can say one thing, but it's nothing being proven. But regarding the marriage standpoint, I kind of get a little, I don't know if that was her point. If you weren't married, people want to hold you to it regarding the religion. They don't talk about it from the lens of being successfully married. They talk yeah, about but it. You, from, you do, but if you weren't successfully you married, that would then, then I wouldn't be talking about what it takes to be successfully married. Yeah. Right. Well, my, I would be talking about it from a completely different lens, but I can mm -hmm. talk about it. My whole yeah. point in time was because you tried to make it seem like men don't need women, right? But yet you base a lot of your rhetoric and your platform on the fact that you are married to a woman and that everyone should listen to you because you've done it the right way and you're successful because you you married at this age and it, it happened like this, A, B, C, and D. So it, it to me, it just sounded like a contradiction. It ain't no disrespect because it's a lot of things. I do, yeah, it's a lot of things that I do agree with, but I'm just saying it's OK to say that we need each other. Because you yourself no, honors your listen. marriage enough to let that's people not, know. That's not that's why, that's why I say that I'm married. Okay. Why I say that I'm married is because he's walking the walk. The only reason that I even walk. use that or I even show that part of my life is because I believe that there's too many people um, scamming, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that they're doing it. Now it's gotten so bad out here that people are able to say stuff and we don't even know nothing about them. I think that whether you're a preacher, whether you're a podcaster, whether you're a coach, whether you're a business, life, life, whatever you do, I think that now it's gotten to the point that so many people have gotten finessed with the wrong information that you need to qualify yourself. Yeah. That's it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't hire a teacher that is not going through the rings and the ropes in order to be a teacher. You wouldn't hire somebody as a part of the job. You wouldn't hire a CEO at a bank and, and unless he actually went through the hoops and actually met the qualifications and the criteria. And so, but people just taking information because they got TikTok, I think that that's fucking the game up. And so you got too many single baby mamas and different people telling you on what it takes in order to be successfully married and they don't have it. And so then you have to ask yourself the question, okay, well, if this is what it takes, then how come you don't got it? I think anybody can have an opinion, but when you yeah. qualify yourself as an expert, now we got to see the receipts. If you say you got money, then show me the receipts now. If you say you, you know what I'm saying? If you say you did this, if you say you successfully married, all right, show me where you did that. Yeah. That's all I'm saying is that, listen, we need to start calling it for the, what it is. Let's, sh let's see the receipts. No more of the, no more of the, just the talking points. If we have an opinion, that's one thing. But if you qualifying yourself as an expert, I right. want to see the receipts. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. I have a question to the married <coughs> men, right? People that think that they don't need women. If that's the case, why did you want to get married? Like 2K, if you, I don't know if that was your standpoint. If you don't need, we don't, we don't need women. If that's not your, if that's your standpoint, that's your, the case. Why even get married? Let me say this last thing, Q, and then I'm gonna let you ask that question. Mm -hmm. Whenever a clip come out where I go viral on Instagram or TikTok or something, mm -hmm. The only the main thing that I see in the comments is he he must be single. Who hurt him? This <laughs> and that. Right. They always want to pick apart and assume your background, which justifies my argument is because then when they come back and people in the comments say something to him and they say, well, no, actually, he not broke or actually he it has been married mm -hmm. for a long time. And it, actually, he don't have no kids out of wedlock. It shut the fucking conversation down. Because that's the first thing people go to when they don't like your advice is they try to figure out whether or not you're wrong based off of the way you live your lifestyle. Yeah. That's why you got to pull the receipts. 